Hey everybody, my name is Thomas Hazlitt and I am the head of AWS content here at linuxacademy.com. Now whether you're an existing Linux Academy student or possibly looking to join us, I figured I would take a few minutes today and talk about all the different types of AWS certifications that are available for you to take. Because even just up to a few years ago, there were only five certifications offered by AWS. Now there are nine certifications that are currently being offered. So for a lot of new students to Linux Academy or people that are new to AWS, there could be a lot of confusion about which certification you should take first, which you should start with, what direction you should go in after that, because there's a lot of different areas where you can go. So I want to take a close look here at the AWS certification website, which is aws.amazon.com slash certification. And if you scroll down here, you will find the certification roadmap. And I want to take a few minutes here to talk about the roadmap and the different categories that all of these certifications are in. And then we can talk about what may be some of the best approaches for you. So there are four current categories in which AWS places their certifications into. There's foundational, associate, professional, and then a side category over here called specialty certifications. So some of these require prerequisites while others do not. So I'm going to start here by saying that if you are absolutely brand new to AWS and have very little or no IT experience at all, you're probably going to want to start on the foundational level with the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification and, and exam. Now, what this covers is AWS from a real conceptual standpoint. So what are some of the common services? What are they used for? What are their general use cases? What is the AWS cloud or what is cloud in general, right? So it touches on some really fundamental aspects. Now, this course in and of itself, I think is really geared more towards people that may work in and around the cloud or IT industry, but aren't actually IT individuals. And by that, I mean people who may be in sales or in, you know on the legal side or accountants that work with or for a cloud or IT company. So it will give you the opportunity or at least give you the knowledge set to at least have some conversations with others about what AWS is from a conceptual standpoint and what its major services are, what they do, and how Amazon Web Services is used. Now, if you are a IT professional, say that you've been working in IT for five or 10 years, say that you um, have been using AWS, and maybe just want to get a certification, you don't have to take the cloud practitioner to take any of the other certification exams. What you can do is you can jump right into the associate level. So the associate level comes with three different certification exams, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, AWS Certified Developer, and the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator. So again, you don't have to take the cloud practitioner in order to take any one of these three. Now, you do, however, have to take one or more of the associate levels as a prerequisite to qualify to sit for the professional levels. Now, the professional levels, even though you see three columns here, there's actually only two professional level exams, and that is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional and the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. So... If your goal is to get one or more multiple certifications, especially on the professional level, you do have to be aware of the prerequisites that are required. So in order to sit for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect professional exam, you do have to pass the AWS Certified Solutions Architect associate level exam. But in order to sit and take the associate level exam, you all, the only thing you have to do for that is just sign up and take it. You don't have to take the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner first, which is why it does say optional here. This is an optional exam, not required for any of the associate level exams. Now, AWS also offers three specialty exams, and this falls into AWS Certified Advanced Networking, Certified Big Data, and Certified Security. Now, in order to sit for any one of these specialty exams, you have to have passed one of the associate levels or passed the cloud practitioner. So you can just take the cloud practitioner 
and then just take one of these specialties. Or if you happen to pass any other AWS exam, you can sit for and take one of these specialty exams. So here's what I would suggest. If you are, again, are absolutely brand new to AWS, you can come over to Linux Academy and you can do two things. If you are on the non-IT side, so again, a salesperson, um, a lawyer, or an accountant that happens to work in and around IT and AWS, I highly suggest that you first take our, take our AWS Concepts course, followed by our AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course, and that will prepare you to take the Cloud Practitioner exam. Now, if you are in a sales, legal, or accounting role, well, then you're probably not going to go any further than that. There's no reason to go take the associate level certifications because those are geared for people who are actually in the IT side and are building and architecting things inside of Amazon Web Services. If you are brand new to AWS and you're thinking to yourself, I really want to learn about AWS, but you are on the IT side. So you want to either get a job as a cloud engineer, as a DevOps engineer, or as a sysops administrator inside of cloud and AWS, then I suggest you go to linuxacademy.com, take our AWS concepts course. That's a very short one hour course followed by our AWS essentials course. Now the AWS Essentials course will cover much of the same material that is in our AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. However, as where the Cloud Practitioner course is just conceptual, it's not hands-on, the AWS Essentials course is specifically hands-on to teach you how to use many of the core and basic AWS services. So it's a prep course for those that want to go in and then take the certification courses and the exam for the associate level certification exams. So again, if you're on the IT side and you're brand new, I suggest AWS Concepts followed by AWS Essentials. After you do that, you can decide to then take the Cloud Practitioner exam if you want, but it's not something that's necessary if you're just on the IT side. After you finish the AWS Essentials course, you can then take one of our courses for one of the three associate level certifications. So the solutions architect, certified developer, or certified sysops administrator. Now, which one you take really depends on what your own career, career goals are. Generally, a lot of people like to take the AWS certified solutions architect because that is probably the most broad course and certification. So it covers the most amount of services, features, and basics of AWS, but it is not required. If you are just a developer and you want to learn how to develop applications on AWS, well, then you probably won't need the certification exam. You can always go get it to build that skill set, but it's not something that is absolutely required. The same if you wanted to be a sysops administrator, you can just go and take that exam without taking the developer or the solutions architect on the associate level. Now, generally, what I like to suggest is that somebody go and get all three because they all have really important skill sets for anybody that wants to work in the cloud industry. So the AWS Solutions Architect really focuses on taking specs from a customer or client and building out the foundational architecture of what needs to be built inside of AWS. So they're building the solution for what is needed for an application or infrastructure on AWS. So you have to know all about the various AWS services, what they do, when to use them, and how things like pricing versus performance come into play. And those are all things that are covered in the AWS Certified Solutions Architect course over on linuxacademy.com and then tested for on the exam. The Certified Developer is much more about understanding how to interface and develop inside of AWS. Now it's not a developer course, meaning that we're not teaching you how to code or code in AWS. It's all about how to interface and to design applications inside of AWS. The AWS Certified SysOps Administrator on the associate level is all about really monitoring and improving and troubleshooting existing AWS infrastructure. So where the Certified Solutions Architect is about designing the infrastructure, the SysOps Administrator is much more about, okay, now that there is infrastructure there, how do we monitor it? How do we make it more efficient? How do we fix problems in it? 
and how do we administer administer to it um, on, on a daily basis? So on the professional level, again, there's two different certifications, the Certified Solutions Architect Professional and the DevOps Engineer. So to take the Certified Solutions Architect Professional level, again, you do have to have passed the Certified Solutions Architect Associate. To take the DevOps Engineer, you have to have either taken and passed the developer or the sysops. You don't have to, to, to take and pass both. You can pass the developer and take the DevOps engineer or pass the sysops and take the DevOps engineer. But this here, even though it's listed twice here, this is the same exam. So this isn't two different exams here. They just have it laid out in this particular way. Now for the specialties, again, all you need to do in order to sit and take one of the specialties is to either pass the cloud practitioner or pass one of the associate levels. So for the various um, specialty certifications, the first one is advanced networking. So this is all about getting into real details and nitty gritty of networking on AWS. The next is big data. And this has to do with all of the various services that AWS has been producing for big data. So if you are looking to get into big data or looking to understand how big data can be applied in AWS, this is a great place to start. Um, in terms of learning about all those various services and going and get certified in them. The last is the AWS Certified Specialty, sorry, the AWS Certified Security Specialty. And just like the network specialty, this just gets into all the nitty gritty of security in AWS. So all the different ways that you can secure your infrastructure, data, so on and so forth. Uh, it covers all of those various aspects. So those are the nine different AWS certifications that are currently being offered. Now, just to kind of recap here, if you are brand new to AWS and you work in a non-IT role, I suggest that you go the route of AWS Concepts, a course on linuxacademy.com, followed by your AWS Cloud Practitioner course, and then go and sit for and take the Cloud Practitioner exam. And then you'll probably be, be done with what you were trying to learn for AWS. If you are on the IT side and are brand new to AWS, again, I suggest the AWS Concepts, followed by AWS Essentials, then one of the three AWS associate level courses for which we offer all three, the Solutions Architect, Developer, and SysOps Administrator over at linuxacademy.com. A lot of people generally like to start with the Solutions Architect because it is the most broad, then move to the Developer, and then move to the SysOps Administrator. But then if you're looking to go more vertical, you can always just take one of the associate levels and then move on to the professional level. And then as you see fit, you can go and sit for the, spe the specialty certification exams. Now always make sure to go over and check all of our courses for these certifications at linuxacademy.com because we have some really cool, exciting courses there that have a lot of live hands-on learning activity, AWS environments, interactive diagrams, tons of quizzes, flashcards, a robust community. We do everything that we can to provide our students with everything that they need to study for and pass these certification exams, as well as support from all of our course authors and our student community as a whole. Now also, if you want more information here on these certification exams, you can scroll down to learn more about AWS certifications. So here, you see these tabs here where you can click on Cloud Practitioner, Architect, Developer, Operations, and Specialties. So this is just another view of this here, but there's slightly more information, slightly more uh, information here under each tab that talks about each certification. And then you can click on any one of these to learn more. So let's say that you want to learn more about the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. You can click here to learn more, and then you can also click right here to register to sit for the exam. But let's click on learn more. And here it's going to tell you all about the exam, and you can also download the exam guide, but it's gonna give you some uh, sample questions and also talk about the length, the time frame, the amount of questions, the cost. So you can go in and view this for all of the other certification exams as well but it's always good to also click and download the blueprint. And so this is offered up by AWS, just a further detailed explanation of the domains that are covered on a particular exam, 
as well as how each one of those domains happened to be rated in terms of percentages on the exam as well. So we see here for the Certified Solutions Architect, here are the various domains that you're going to be tested for on the particular exam. So again, I hope that gives everybody a really good sense of all the different types of AWS certifications that are currently available, where to start if you are brand new or going in different directions in your career. And as always, you can come over to linuxacademy.com, go into our student community, ask questions, and myself and all the other course authors will always be there to help. So again, thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you all over on linuxacademy.com.